Kirker Steve here. Let's go for a couple more reverse offset backing tips. If you should have points because you failed on your forward controlled stop, you stopped too short, now you have about five points. So what do you, so now you cannot afford to lose any more points. So you'll be pulling up and then you do a straight line back. Okay, now we're gonna do our offset track and for your reverse offset back and it's so important that you do this skill right. Also, you don't wanna lose any more points because I'm gonna assume on this video that the student has five points. So you're gonna pull back out. He's gonna double check and make sure in this left mirror he can see the cone on the left side. He's gonna pull back out, pull the tractor out. And at this point, he should be able to see the cone on the right side. Once he sees that cone, he needs to pull back to the right and watch the right mirror, the cone, and the left tire. So now he's going to start pulling and start straightening out the vehicle back to the right. Without hitting the cone, he's going to control the movement. And once he's straight, he's just going to pull up straight. That's the Ford offset tracking. So you gotta use those mirrors and you gotta watch what you are doing. When we do the off, reverse offset backing, I personally like the students to back the rear of the trailer close to the cone. The back tires close to the cone. Now what it looks like is gonna be, it's gonna be a blind side parallel park. Angle's important. Your instructors need to teach you how to get a 45 degree angle. So right now, I just put a toy tractor on a 45 degree angle. Not a lot. And I can just take my finger to offset law. Oh, this trailer is going in a box. So I just push the bumper of this toy truck. And where's the trailer going? The trailer is going into the box. Once you can see the trailer in this right mirror and you can see the trailer and you can look down the side you can see the trailer heading into the box stop turn the wheel back to the left and get your tractor under the trailer and there it is if we have a poor setup we can fix it at this point right now that's not the greatest setup in the world because personally we like to be somewhere around here all he need all you need to do you can yes you can do a pull up and move the trailer back but also in, in other videos i had just do a pull up if you turn the wheel to the right if you turn the wheel to the right where's that trailer going to go so you turn the wheel to the right and we we'll look at the trailer it's a trailer and in the toy tractor trailer starts going back to the left but gotta watch the cone over here. You cannot hit that cone. If you need to pull up, you would just pull up to the right and the trailer is now perfectly angled. Once again, in other videos I have, that's how we do it. But if not, if you have a bad angle and you're all the way out here and you have points, just turn the wheel to the right and the trailer will go to the left Follow back up, follow back up with your left, and there you go. And there you go, and then you work it back in. Small movements, you had to learn how to adjust to the trailer. It's all about you reacting to the trailer. If the trailer is in the box and the tractor's on an angle, trailer's in the box and tractor's on an angle like that, you don't have to pull far up, pull up, about five or six feet and turn the tractor back to the to the right a little bit then come back to your left and back it under those small pull-ups would help that's all you really need to do so practice practice and then you shall get this